In this video, I will give a brief primer on what namespaces are. Uh, this word is used a lot in blogs and books, so it's, uh, it's beneficial to know exactly what they're referring to when they use the term namespaces. A namespace is just referring to a container that holds objects and the names associated with these objects. So here's an example dealing with the namespace. When we create an object, so in this case, we're going to create the variable x and we're going to assign it the value 3. So what we're essentially doing is we're creating an element in this namespace. So a name given to a variable is sort of like a dictionary. There's a key and a value. So the x is the key to the value 3. The unique part about this is that if we check the ID, exactly what x is mapping to, we'll see that it gives us the ID 49929856. So this is telling us what x is representing or what memory location x is representing. So if we look at the memory value for 3, we'll see that it's the same ID. So essentially, these are the keys and values of a namespace, the names and the objects. So these are all elements, the x equals 3 are elements of a namespace. So everything taking place here is taking place in the global namespace. When we assign a variable a value, we're essentially creating an element in the global namespace. The cool thing about Python is that there are many different namespaces located within one script. When we import a module, we're actually importing that module's namespace into our script. In this case, we're going to import pandas as pd. What we're essentially doing is we're importing pandas namespace into our main script. So if we want to access the variables of pandas uh, namespace, what we have to do is use the name of the module pd dot data frame. So the dot data frame is actually saying, okay, we want to refer to the data frame variable that's located in the pandas namespace. But we also have a global namespace, which is the namespace where our script is created. So in this case, if we create a variable data frame, we're actually creating in our global namespace, the namespace of our script. Here, since we're dealing with two different namespaces, there's no problem creating a data frame variable and accessing the PD data frame variable within the same script. So this is the key point. We have two different data frame variables within the same script because they are part of two different namespaces. The data frame equals three is part of our global namespace and the PD.dataFrame data frame is part of the pandas PD namespace, but they're both within the same script. So we can have access to many different namespaces within one single script. So when we import a module, we import the module's namespace. We also have a global namespace, which is when we assign variables to names. So those are two different namespaces already within one Python script. We're importing a namespace and we have our global namespace, but there's also something called a local namespace, which is within a function. So any variables you name within a function has its own namespace and it's completely different from the, the main script's global namespace. That's why if we assign a variable in a function, x equals 3, y equals 4, and we try to access those variables in the main script, we'll get x name x is not defined. That's because a function also has its own local namespace. The main script has a global namespace, the function has a local namespace, and we can also import the namespace of different modules. Now there's one more type of namespace called the uh, built-in namespace. So the built-in namespace are the, the methods that come built into Python. So the string, str, int, class, def, those are all part of the built-in namespace. So even before you start your Python script, that namespace is already there. We're accessing it once we create a new Python script without even typing in anything. So we have the built-in namespace, we have a global namespace, we have a local namespace, we can import our namespaces. So hopefully that gives you an idea of the term namespace and how it's used in Python. So that's it for what a namespace is. I will see you guys next time.